Hi again everybody, welcome to my latest video. Well in this one I'm going to install and review a product that I bought. This is the TP-Link dual band wireless adapter for a desktop PC. It's going to be going into my main computer workstation here. That's also my main editing and doing everything, my, my everyday driver computer because I'm going to be bringing my network down, as you've seen if you've been watching that series today, where it's going to come down for probably four or five hours at least. I have to do some more painting on the tabletop, wait for that to dry, and then I have to install everything. So it's going to be down for a while. I went ahead and bought this, I think, the day before yesterday. I could have bought it, you know, online, but I have no idea when I would have received it if I did that. So I decided to go over to Micro Center and I picked this up. I think it cost about $30. I'll put the, the link to it at the bottom of this video if you're interested. But I'm going to do a quick box opening of this and then I'm going to install it on this PC. It has to go into a PCIe slot times one, one of the smallest ones. And I have two spare ones in this PC. One of them I'd like to put it in, should fit. The other one I do not because that's the slot that's between my Elgato 4K60 and my video card, my 1070 that's currently in here. And I would rather allow those to continue to have good airflow without blocking it with another adapter. So it should work fine. I mean, when I put it in there, it should automatically be recognized by Windows 10 and the proper drivers should be downloaded as needed. If not, I'll go to the TP-Link website download those drivers and install them. I don't want to install any special application software that they might provide. That's generally not what I like putting in. I'm just going to use it straightforward as a wireless adapter when needed, like today, when I bring that network down. So anyway, hopefully you get something out of this video. Please consider subscribing. Okay, so here's the box that came in. Let me open this thing up. They also sell a refurbished version of this on Amazon, but I didn't want to get that. I don't, I don't tend to buy too many things that are refurbished anyway. Let's see what they got here. It says two-year warranty. That's interesting. Okay. I hope I don't have to use that, but there it is. Two-year warranty. Let's open this guy up. What do we got here? Looks like the normal warranty card. It's got some software. Oh, it looks like it comes with both the low profile and attached to it is the, uh, the full size PCIe bracket. It's got the antennas, two of them, full size. These are the full size antennas. Yeah, yeah. Seems stubborn. There we go. Okay, so it's a times one PCIe adapter. It just got the two antennas here, and that's about it. Pretty straightforward. Nothing much to talk about here. Let me go ahead now and just stick it into the computer, see how that goes. Okay, let's get this card in here. Pull my PC back. Take off the panel. Again, for those who have not seen it, I, I added this plastic panel and I etched it with my professional engineer seal. It looks like there's two times one slots in here. One of them I have my connector to allow for the serial port, since that was an option available on this motherboard. It's actually available on most motherboards. I went ahead and bought a bunch of those a few months ago and started making sure I include them because that helps with some of the stuff I try to do in managing my network. But I want that slot for the adapt, so I'm going to move that one up to this other spot between the Elgato 4K60 and my video card 1070. So I'm going to pull this out first. You probably wouldn't have to worry about it if you don't have something like this in your PC. So now this little, because that's all this is, it's just the connector. So I'll be putting that in the slot a little bit higher up. Let me go ahead and take the blank out. That blank will wind up staying out since I'm adding a new card. And the PCIe adapter for the wireless right here. And that's going to go right into that slot where the serial port connector was. Try not to get your adapters to bump into each other too much. They can damage each other make themselves or another card. There it is. It is now in the slot. Pretty simple for a times one slot. Put this back on. Tighten up the bracket. Got to get the right one. And then I will put in the 
serial port, I'll just move it up to the other area where I pull the blank out. That does not connect into the slot at all. It is just connected with this one screw to the case itself. So it doesn't even go into the motherboard other than the cable that it has that goes into the special connector just for the serial port. We just have to tighten that up. Gotta make sure that this doesn't interfere, so I gotta center it. So when I connect the nine pin RS-232 serial port connector to it, which I have done and I may do in the future, since it's available and these little things don't cost that much, I went ahead and did it. This PC is due for a good PM, but I'll be doing that when I replace the video card, part of a major upgrade. Right now what I have in here is a 1070, and that's gonna be replaced. One of the things I'm upgrading is I'm going to replace that with my 3070. So it's got a gigabyte 1070 in here right now, and that's getting replaced in the major upgrade I'm doing to this one. I won't give away more than that at this point. So all done, let's go turn it on and see what happens. Well, before I turn it on, let me put the side panel back on. I like to make sure it's always on so we get good airflow. That actually helps the airflow with the way I've designed cooling system in this particular PC. And I just make these finger tight because I might be in here again soon. And I push the PC back in. And I forgot to put the antennas on. So I have to take these two antenna rods, twist them on. They're best pointed up to catch a signal correctly. Finger tight is all you need. Like such. And we're all done. Okay, the first thing I'll do is see that it was recognized. So I'm gonna go into right click on this PC and I'll click manage. Then I'm gonna click on device manager. Give me a warning that I'm not logged in as administrator. I don't plan on making changes to it. I'll say okay to that. And then I'm gonna go down to where it says network adapters and we see the original motherboard one gig interface. We see the QLogic 10 gig device that I added recently. And now we see a TP-Link wireless PCI Express adapter. Also, there's another one from VirtualBox, which is an Ethernet adapter. That's pretty interesting. Now, I'm going to have to, in order to turn it on, I'm going to have to turn off my existing network. Let me close this. Let me expand this down. Right now, it shows, what, the network, and it sees my wireless network. It sees all of the connections I have available on my wireless network. Let me go ahead and unplug my existing network adapter, and then we'll see if I can get the wireless up. Okay, the RJ45 is now disconnected. Let me see if I can log into one of my wireless networks here. Connect. It's asking for my password. Okay, let me see if it'll connect. Verifying and connecting. We are now connected to a secure network. I can disconnect if I want, but what I want to do here is open up and take a look at the internet. I can get anywhere. Okay, let me go ahead and see if I can get to YouTube. And we're up. There's my latest video. <laughs> so we're looking good. And I didn't have to install any drivers, so Windows 10 automatically supported that adapter, which I figured it would with a TP link. All done. Okay, I like to check with the internet speed. That's the key one here. It's gonna be hard to check the intranet right now because uh, wireless doesn't uh, allow me to easily connect between PCs in my network, just the way I have the security configured. So I'm just gonna try the internet first. Let's go to, here it is, internet speed test. Let me start it. I like to run this twice. The second time is usually more accurate. Okay, that's the first test. Let me try it again. Okay, we're just under 200 megabits per second. Download and upload just over 50. So let me compare it to the wired connection. I'll reconnect the wire right now and we'll take a look at that. Okay, let's see if it's connected. The wired is now connected, the wireless is disconnected. That's the way it works. So let me try doing a speed again. Okay, faster on the download, that's for sure. The other one was uh, 191 and change, now it's 276. Let me do it again. The second time is always more accurate. Well, it's consistent. We drop down from 191.44 to 277.52. It's still usable. I just lost uh, what looks like about 20 to 25%. Okay, that's the only testing I'm really going to do here. Well, that completes this quick box opening and review of the TP-Link wireless dual band adapter that's now running in my computer successfully. Seems flawless. So with that, I'm all set to go and can move on to my upgrade 
within my network and hopefully you got something out of this video if you did give me a thumbs up that would be very helpful but if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel it would be really helpful in helping my channel grow and I'll be able to continue to provide good videos that everybody can use well until the next time take care be safe and really be healthy